So today I went to my local fish store and picked up something insane. So a few months ago I got my cherry shrimp and these things are awesome. I mean I just love watching them and just love seeing where they like to go. They just play around and have a lot of fun and it's really cool to watch. A few weeks later I went to a local pet store that I haven't gone to yet and they had these blue shrimp and I thought they were the coolest things ever. Now I looked at the price tag and these things were expensive. I mean I'm talking seven dollars a shrimp and I was like no way am I ever gonna get those. But today I got them. So I got a male and female blue velvet shrimp which is awesome and the female is actually already pregnant so that is really cool. I don't think you're ready to see them but here they are. These are probably impossible to see like extremely hard because they're so small but they look insanely cool. Hopefully in a couple of weeks there'll be a bunch of little baby blue velvet shrimp swimming around my new tank and uh, I think it'll be really cool. Let me show you where I'm gonna keep them. So this is going to be their temporary home for a while especially because she's pregnant because I don't want any of my fish to eat the eggs and also I really don't have a tank for them yet. Now I know a lot of you are probably like Chase come over here. And I'll be like what's up like what's going on and then you'll be like like, you know there's a 20 gallon tank literally a foot away from this tank, right? But here's the problem. If I put these blue velvet shrimp in with my cherry shrimp, they'll crossbreed and form a really ugly brown fry. It looks awful. Trust me, you do not want to experience that and that's why I'm separating them. Now like I said, this is a temporary home until she gets pregnant and has her babies. Then I'm going to be moving them into the 20 long that I'm going to be getting very soon, hopefully. But this is a perfect spot for them. I mean, it's not that big. I'm just going to aquascape it a little bit, put a couple plants in there, and it'll be good to go. Speaking of aquascape, let's do it. Now I have some leftover gravel from this tank right here which will fit perfectly in this one gallon. I think it'll look really good. I'm also going to be putting a moss ball in there and maybe some other plants. And um, I mean they do like natural plants so I think it'll be really good. And also this thing has a light. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of scoop out some water and uh, hopefully it goes well. I'm sorry guys I'm taking some of your water. Good. So now that we have water in here, I'm gonna put in some gravel. Now don't worry, I already washed this gravel. It's not gonna be dirty at all. So I'm just gonna dump it in here and hopefully it works out great. So I didn't even use all the gravel, so that's pretty cool. So right now I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit, and then I'll add some moss balls and some other little plants, and uh, I think we'll be good to go then. Now I'm just going to add a couple other plants that I think will look really good in this tank, and um, hopefully it goes well. So I decided to keep it a little bit simple and just add some giant hair grass. So hopefully this looks pretty good. And I know the shrimp will love the hair grass as well because mine love it in the big tank. And uh, now I think we're ready to add them. So I'm just going to set them in here for a little bit and let them acclimate. I'm also going to add their water in there as well. So uh, hopefully it'll go pretty good. They look amazing. So they've been acclimating for a while now. So I think they're all ready to go. They're in and they look awesome. Now that they're in the tank, let's see them in action. Now by the time the shrimp gives birth, I'm going to probably have another tank to put them in. So this is going to be a temporary tank for a couple weeks. I think it'll work out really good, so uh, I'm pretty excited. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below. It helps me out tremendously, and it only takes a couple seconds to do. And I'm actually coming up close to my 300 subscriber mark, and I think that would be absolutely crazy if we hit that. I can't thank you enough for subscribing to my channel. It just means the world to me. Anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.